guess you could name this as, uh, does your Sunday giving look like your Monday giving? <laughs> or is your Monday is your Sunday giving a reflection of your Monday giving? See, just like Pastor Casey, <laughs> I remember seeing Casey that one day. We said, "Baby, Pastor Katie mentioned that we can be the best flagger, be the best hand raiser, be the best singer. It means nothing to God if we can't be the best on Monday." Right. Right. Amen. You know, am I going to say, I love you, God. I love you, Holy Spirit. Welcome, welcome you here. Raise your hands. And then on Monday morning, what if I park the forklift in a space that I think is supposed to be good? This has actually happened to me. I parked the forklift in a space that I thought was good. And the roofer didn't know what, where he was going. He bumped the forklift that I parked with his little scissor lift and blames me for parking the forklift in the wrong spot. What am I going to do? What am I going to say? I'm sorry. <laughs> what if I'm on the way to work? I'm, I'm late to work. And somebody needs to get thinks that they have the right of way to get to work first before I can need to get to work. And maybe what if my hand flies up and I, I give them a bad finger? Come on. Or what if something come, I mutter something out of my mouth that's not good? But I'm up in here Sunday. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. See, we, there's something cool about religion scholars. They always ask Jesus the right questions at the right times, and Jesus always gave them an extravagant answer. Yeah. Look what uh, Mark, Mark chapter 12, verse 31 says. I'm actually going to start at 28. One of the religion scholars came up, hearing the hearing the lively exchanges of question and answer, and seeing how sharp Jesus was in his answer. He put in his question. Which is the most important of all the commandments? Jesus said the first, the first in importance is, listen Israel, the Lord your God is one. So love the Lord God with all your passion and prayer and intelligence and energy. And here is the second, love others as well as you love yourself. There is no other commandment that ranks with these. We say we love God. We come in here. We get. We we say we bless you, God. We praise you. Can we go on Monday and bless that person that says it's your fault that I had this this thing happen to me? It's your fault. Can we bless that person? <laughs> Can we speak good of that person? Let's keep that in mind when we give to Him.